If you look back to the very first moment that you wrote code in this lesson, you'll notice that you've been following a very simple pattern of code, test, and refine. You'll write some code, test and see how it looks against the design mockup that you received, and then make any refinements or modifications to the code so that it looks closer to the design. And you'll repeat this process of testing and modifying until it looks like the design you were given. But how do you know where to start testing? And then how do you also know what to refine so that it looks closer to the design? First, you need to get the structure of the page right. You should be able to do that from the design by visually boxifying it. Then move on to work on the tags. If something needs to be a heading, make it so. Then think about the size of the boxes. How big should they be? And then how to position them where you want on the screen. Once the general layout is complete, the time has come for smaller details. And these you can polish until the page looks exactly like the design image you were given. So, to summarize, first, make sure to divide and conquer. Look for places that are distinct. Everything on the web is a box. So, look for the natural boxes. Then, look for repeated styles and semantic elements. H2 should be the second biggest headings on the page, and things like that. Think about how you can relate this to HTML elements. Then, write your HTML. Then, apply your styles. Go from your biggest site-wide elements to your smallest, like widgets. Then, fix the small things. Look at your site in other browsers, resize your window, and just keep repeating steps three and four until you're happy and your website looks like the design mock.